Math is the best. Math is the best. Math is life. Mr. Ang, the best teacher in the West. We're so blessed. Hey guys, I wanted to go over my Module 2 formula sheet. In Module 2, Lesson 1, <clears throat> we talked about the leading coefficient. Leading coefficients, there are people that are in front. If the number, um, it's only going to be the number in front if it has the highest degree. Only if it has the highest degree. Let me show you an example of that. Today in class, we just went over this one. Um, the reason why negative 2 is a leading coefficient because it has the highest degree. If I switch those around, although, you know, this might be in the front, um, it has to go with the highest degree. So negative 2 is a leading coefficient. Um, you have to write them in descending order. So that is an example of descending order. And again, we learned in class that what the leading coefficient does is it might switch, reflect it over the x-axis if it's an original like this. Like an even degree, it's going to flip it over. Okay, the degree of the function is the highest degree or the exponent. You know, if you put something into the oven, like 350 degrees, it's up there in the top right. That is the degree of the function. What is a polynomial? A polynomial has a degree that is has a whole number. It's a positive number. They're, um, they're numbers. They have a base of x. In the top right there, notice that these numbers um, are whole numbers. They can't be uh, negative, that's why it says positive. And they can't be variables, decimals, fractions, or negative. Okay, in 2.11 we learn about the end behavior. It's not how you start, it's how you end. So this yellow box will always be the same. As x approaches positive infinity. This one says as x approaches negative infinity. If you go towards the right of the graph, that's going to the right, and the bottom sentence says as you go towards the left. Remember, you can have this blank one there that's positive numbers on the x, negative numbers on the left, positive numbers on the f of x, on the y values, and that's going down. Now this blue box will change based on what your graph looks like. If it goes up, you'll write positive infinity, and if it goes down, negative infinity. So this one, as I go towards the right, it is going down. So that would be negative infinity. As I go towards the left, its end behavior is negative infinity. Okay, we talked about symmetry graphically. Um, this one would probably show us symmetry graphically because you can rotate it 180 degrees. One, two. You can think of it as a sideways tree. Sideways tree. Some people also call this corner to corner if I fold it over. Okay. Um, that would be um, odd symmetry. It's graphical, it's symmetrical about a point, the origin, and it's rotated 180 degrees, okay? Uh, another way that it's symmetry graphically is evenly. So this would be an example of evenly if, if my graph was correct. It's mirrored over, okay? Uh, if it's not, let's see if I find an example that's not. can't show you a non-example, but... Okay, this one is evenly, right, can fold. The W can fold on top of each other. This is an example with no symmetry graphically. No symmetry graphically, okay? Why? There's a tree, and imagine that tree, you know, if you went to this quadrant, like here, and something like there. Um, so this one has no symmetry, graphically. 2.13, we talked about how do you find out symmetry algebraically. Well, the first thing is we talked about the star. 
to replace the x value with negative x. So what this does is it will test it. Then there's three scenarios. It could be even, if it's equal to the original. It can be odd symmetry if it's opposite of the original, so factor out the negative one. And if it's not this, not this, the answer is neither. It's not even, not odd. Remember that big idea in the back of packet 2.1 is um, there are things called the degree, and even or odd, right? X to the first is the easiest. X to the second is the easiest even. But this one is talking about even odd symmetry. So it's using the same word odd and even, but they mean different things. Okay, 2.2, we talked about extrema, minima, maxima, that's the low, the high. Um, absolute is the highest point, like Mount Everest. Local or relative, relative. Um, just in our local area, it's high, but there's there's something higher. Uh, increasing and decreasing functions, you'll go from left to right. So this graph right here is increasing from, let's say that's negative 4 to infinity, and it's decreasing from, um, no, it's always increasing on this one. This would be an example of decreasing here. Let's just say that is... Uh, negative 4, so we can say it's decreasing from negative infinity to about that point, so maybe negative 3, and it's increasing from negative 3 to 0. We're using the x-axis numbers, okay? So that's going up. Multiplicity refers to um, shoot-throughs. If it's shooting through the x-axis, um, it counts as one real 0. Uh, an example of that is your linears. This is a shoot through. This counts as one real zero. Over here, this is a bounce or kiss. This is worth two. So we would say something like x equals zero or x equals zero. Um, instead of writing it twice, we would probably just write x equals zero with a multiplicity of two. Multiplicity of two sounds like the word multiply. Uh, interval notation. Um, it's not an order pair, it's just like the start, the end, where it's increasing and decreasing. And probably the last thing we didn't talk about was um, the fundamental theorem of algebra. You know, the degree is equal to that most number of x-intercepts. So it's a fifth degree, then at most we'll have is five x, five real zeros. The other thing you might want to write down is uh, this formula. Turning points is equal to the degree minus one. The degree um, turning points is equal to the degree minus one. So if you know the number of turning points, like up here in pink, so let's say you have, in this case, we have one, two turning points. So two equals degree minus one. You can add one, or realize that degree is three. Three minus one equals two. So that is the formula sheet for our first quiz, or second quiz.